There was Mutar Kent talking about the obesity issue, and Coke is finally owning up and saying, yeah, our drinks aren't all that healthy. We know that, right? I mean, this is what they're saying to you. Yeah, they have said that. Um, they basically have said that they recognize the fact that they have sold them in sizes that are way too large for people, just huge and huge and huge. And so they're starting to sell them in smaller sizes now. Um, you know, they introduced those little mini cans a few years ago, and they're really pushing the glass bottles, which have seen excellent growth. Um, but the problem for them, sort of like a double-edged sword, is that they're still selling the larger sizes. So they're trying to Will they give those up? No, they're not. It makes up about 75% of their business, and so it's doing really well, and they've admitted that it's not going away anytime soon. So you met with some of the executives there, right? Sandy Douglas in particular. I what did. did they say to you? You know, he said that they've made some mistakes in the past, um, and they're ready to move forward, and they also are really trying to, you know, market this as a treat, which they hadn't before. We used to guzzle it as we would water, um, and they're really sort of saying, we can't really do that anymore. But as they say it's a treat, they still have to sell billions of cans and bottles of Coke around the world. They do, but the smaller, regular Coke. Exactly, exactly. They do, and around the world, they're doing pretty well. Um, but in the U.S., their their new tactic is the smaller sizes will cost a bit more per ounce. Um, so their hope is that if more people drink it, um, but just in the smaller sizes, they'll be able to make more money. And do we know, Claire, what kind of went into this turnaround in their minds? Well, people have started to really think of soda differently. You know, we used to drink it and not give it a second thought, and over the past decade or so, soda sales have really declined about 25%. So this is basically uh, an acknowledgement that they're not coming back. Those soda sales are gone. Pretty much. I would be very surprised if it came back. Okay. All right, Claire, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Claire Sadeth, Bloomberg Businessweek reporter and author of this week's cover story on Coca-Cola. Am I big-boned, or am I just drinking too much Coke? <laughs> okay.